By the end of 2017, 68.5 million people had been forcibly displaced as a result of persecution, conflict, violence, or human rights violations. Then in 2020, with the possible impact of COVID-19, that number increased by almost a quarter than in 2017, meaning 1 in 95 people is now forcibly displaced. At the same time, there are at least 10 million stateless people who have been denied their nationality and related rights. United Nations journalists published an article in January of 2020 quoting that inequality is at the heart of many of the grievous issues facing the global community including development, climate and peace. It affects people and structure across societies and borders and threatens to stymie hard-fought development gains. With barely a decade to fulfill our goals, we are urged to resolve the issues beyond scientific independence. Is there a way for us to achieve the 17 SDGs in perhaps a more creative way? Maybe in Cameroon, they have the solution embedded in their heritage flowing through a generation to the other. A thing or two maybe we could learn from the people of Cameroon. Believed to be originated from the Betty or Iwondo people in Yaounde, Ikang is one of the two main components in the musical repertoire of Betty. Traditionally, the Ikang faith explores the imaginary, mythological and spiritual aspects of the Betty people. Usually lasting all night, the Ikang faith is intensely musical. The Mvet is one of the many musical ensembles that is involved alongside balafuns and djembe. Mvet is a double-sided acoustic harp with calibration amplifications and is used by the Betty storytellers. They believe that it is given by God to be used as a means of knowledge communication. There are poetic recitations supported by clapping and dancing. Ikang has hugely influenced the evolution of spiritual music in Cameroon that highlights the value of peace and harmony. At a certain point of the Ikang performance, Balafon players will break out into an impromptu or sometimes obscene performing style. This indicates the transition onto the next phase of the repertoire Bikutsi. During Bikutsi, women dance along with the Balafon and sing to lyrics that focuses on real-life problems. In this part, more earthly issues are discussed such as the hardship of everyday life as well as the sexual taboos and fantasies. Bikutsi oftentimes relied on the improvisation of the singers and dancers to the melody of the Balafon. The female choruses play a vital part in Bikutsi. Their intense dancing and screams became a distinguished element of the genre. In addition, it is fairly hard to not recognize the intense 6-8 rhythm that leads the beat of Bikutsi. Kut is a betty word meaning to hit continuously, while C translate to ground or more literally cultivable land. Put together, we could see express the action of beating the ground continuously. The Bikutsi dance further animate the messages and themes conveyed through the lyrics. Men and women now dance to the Bikutsi beat as opposed to the older days where only women will perform this dance. With fast tempo and rhythmic movements mostly involving the hips and complex stepping patterns, the dance is significant in emphasizing reoccurring themes, eroticism, societal taboo or simply frustrations of Betty women to their husbands are a few of the infamous issues explored. Following the rise of global awareness, Bikutsi dance and music became a creative medium for women to express the themselves and break out of the male hegemony in Cameroon. Performers occasionally stylize the dance to fit various narrations, some of which require the coordination of choreographed hand movements to complement the dancer's footwork. One dances the Protobikutsi when visiting a friend or at weddings and also during formal traditional ceremonies, namely the Movungu ritual and funerals. 
In such formal gatherings, the dancers will be clad in the Betty traditional clothing. A colorful grass skirt helps to create visual dynamics. Sometimes, the dried and dyed grass is also used to accessorize the dancers' hands and legs. A belt made up of animal skin like snakes and leopard adds up to the aesthetic of the traditional costume. From this, we can see that Cameroons has a beautiful semiotics in its songs and dances. However, it is sad to see that these cultures are withering away. The Ikang song and the Bikusi dance is related to the 16th and 5th Sustainable and Development Goals respectively. Forced conversion is a common issue amongst Cameroonian families. I came to know a 19-year-old boy who was forcibly converted to Islam from Christianity by his own family. Apart from that, gender inequality is also a significant matter amongst Cameroonians. As stated by the Betty Elders, women were not allowed to speak nor give opinions in front of men. The Cameroonians proved that the global issues could be untangled with the incorporation of our own cultures and traditions. Gender equalities, peace and justice are just a part of the goals that they could grasp. With the issues highlighted before, Cameroonians maybe are on the right track in achieving the Sustainable and Development Goals. Seeing that Cameroonians are able to achieve these goals, our communities can learn a thing or two from our own cultures as well.